thank you for your loving kindness. We thank you for your tender mercy. We thank you how you brought us, how you kept us. We thank you for strengthening us, God. We thank you for this glorious day that you have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We ask asking that you will touch every household that's represented here. Those that are on Facebook, God. Hallelujah. Touch the heart. Touch the mind. Touch the will. Those that need to be saved, touch them, God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Someone needs peace. Someone needs salvation. Someone needs deliverance. Someone needs wholeness. Someone needs restoration. Have your way.
Isn't he worthy? We bless you, God. We thank you for your goodness and for your mercy. Thank you, Lord, for all that you have done. Thank you for this day, God. We thank you, Lord, for how you blessed us. How you stayed the hand of death and said, live on a little while longer. We praise you and we magnify you, God, for who you are, for what you do. And we thank you right now. I don't know if, if you're not able, you're not able. But if you're able to actually stand on your feet, get out of those cars, stand on your feet just for a minute. And let's give God some praise. Come on, let's give him some praise out here. Come on, open up your mouth. Open up your mouth. And give God some praise. In the key of A flat, stay right there where you are. Get back in A flat, yes. I lift my hands in total adoration unto you. You reign, you reign on the throne.
Somebody scream out here. Come on, blow those horns. Honk your horns if you love Jesus. bless you singers, God bless you musicians, all of you that took part in the service on today, and thank you St. Samuel and some of those of you who made your way out today. We had some who let us know that they would not be able to be here on today, but we're thankful for those of you who came. And listen, this is the gathering of us together next Sunday. The Lord say the same, we'll be in the church. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. The Lord is good. Thank you, Jesus. And uh, whether people know it or not, God honors. God Thank honors you, His church. Thank you, Jesus. Even when the people don't honor it, God honors it. Yes. Ah, uh, Tiana. So did I say it right, Tiana? This is one of our visitors. God bless you. Come on, give her a hand. Bless you. Amen. Amen. She belongs to another church, but uh, her church was closed, so she came here. Now, y'all don't have to stay in the car if you don't want to, but if you get too hot, stay on in there. But uh, it's going to be hotter in there after a while than it is out here. I thank the Lord for the cloud that he sent for a few minutes. It's Hallelujah. gone away, but I thank God for the sunshine. Thank you, God. Amen. God bless Sister Bell. Good to see you. It was good to see you driving. Somebody ought to honk your horn again. Listen, it was about a year ago Sister Bell was at death's door. But look at her now, driving. Praising God. Because he's an awesome God. Let me tell you something. Before we knew COVID-19, we knew death. We still knew about death. Yes. Death came in many forms and took many people away from our midst. Took our loved ones, took our brothers and sisters and yes. mothers and fathers. But, but I also thank God that I'm better acquainted with life. I know life better than I know death. Because Jesus gave us life. Somebody on the screen, thank you, Jesus. I'm going to get into this real quick because it is, uh, we couldn't get our tarp up properly, so we didn't want to risk it causing any harm or any injury. So I want to thank these musicians who have taken this time, and, and uh, I want to thank God with these singers who have taken their time, and uh, we're blessed of God to be in the midst of what better place? This is where God's first church was in the first place. When God made man, he made him outdoors. Am I right about it? Uh, he made him from the dust of the ground, and then he made woman. And, and they were outdoors. Amen. Amen. Outdoors 24-7. Amen. But it wasn't after, it wasn't after until the days of the, the, the people of Israel in the wilderness that God put them in tents. But I'm thankful that we can still come outside and give God some praise. He said the heavens declare the glory of God and the firmament his handiwork. So thank God for all that you can see. Thank you, God. I want to thank bring you to God. you, and let me tell you something. There may be some people in the community, they may not come out of their doors. They've been ignoring us for over 40 years now. Yet we've loved them. We've given them food. We've given them clothes. God knows we've given them money. We've given them time. Yes. And they walk by like we're not here. Now that's on them. But I want to serve notice on Chatham and Chesterfield. 8700 block of State Street, 8800 block of State Street, 8900 block of State Street, Wabash, Michigan, Indiana. We're still here. 
and when you're gone, we'll still be here. 47 years we've been here. And there's no need in us going any place now unless the Lord says so. So we're still here for you. If you need us, we're still here. Somebody shout, we're still here. We're still here. But I want to address a particular issue in the church today. My message today is very simple. Challenged to change. Changed to challenge. If you can say that with me, say it with me. Challenged to change. Changed to challenge. Acts chapter 4 verse 12 says, Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. The church, which is the body of Christ, has been a pillar for years in many communities and cities across this country and even the world. We now face in this world rapidly changing views and ideas, but the church must not lose focus on its purpose. Many have confused the mission of the church with the mandate of government. We read the book of Acts, which details the early church and its activities. We read where they had all things in common and see that as a mandate to feed and support the surrounding communities. The early church fulfilled its mission in winning souls and then meeting the needs of those who had been converted. We have in this modern society and in this modern times given food and clothing, as I said earlier, and offered our facilities when necessary for various activities and yet no real change. The people take our resources but don't find any real need for change. If you want peace in your community, there must be change. Somebody shout change. Change. You've tried alcohol, but found only emptiness at the bottom of the bottle. You've tried drugs only to find yourself at rock bottom. Hurt and pain are the strongest block club members in our communities, filled with broken families, broken relationships, and broken hearts. Shattered dreams and shattered hopes are just a bullet away, but there is an answer. Somebody shout, there is an answer. There's an answer. The only way real change can happen is through Jesus Christ. I heard them screaming and yelling over the last week and a half, no justice, no peace. But I say to you today, no Jesus, no peace. Yeah. Somebody ought to say it, no Jesus. No peace. no peace. Say it again. No Jesus. No peace. No peace. No peace. The death of George Floyd, I'm almost done, was captured on video and shown all over the world. A police officer for 8 minutes and 46 seconds with his knee on Floyd's neck showed us how dreams are destroyed. In 8 minutes and 46 seconds, hopes were dashed. In eight minutes and 46 seconds, a country was even more broken and even more divided. In eight minutes and 46 seconds, children became fatherless. In eight minutes and 46 seconds, we were reminded again that there are those who believe we don't matter. Protests erupted all over the world. And you can explain it but you can never justify the rioting and the looting that took place in our communities. Amen. And let me just say to this community, some of your children, see you can speak things in the air, even if they're not here to receive it, you speak it in the air, it? but some of your children were in Walmart looting. Some of your children were in Jewel. Some of you all may have been over there trying to take what did not belong to you. You can explain it, but you can't justify it. It was still wrong to tear up and destroy in your own community. Y'all ought to blow your horns on that one. The kind of change we need would never happen through violence. It took eight minutes and 46 seconds to show us the problems that racism brings. But it took three hours to give us the answer that we need. Jesus hung on the cross for three hours 
three hours yes. for our forgiveness. Somebody say three hours. Three hours. Three hours for our redemption. Three hours for our deliverance. Three hours for our healing. Three hours to restore hope. We take a moment of silence for those who die. Now let's take a moment of praise for Jesus who is alive. He is. He's alive today. He died on the cross. But on that day, he went into the grave. And in the grave for three days, he got up. And now he lives. And because he lives, we can live again. We don't have to worry about the protest against racial injustice. If we give our lives over to Jesus, the white man needs to give his life to Jesus. The black man needs to give his life to Jesus. The white woman, give your life to Jesus. Black woman, give your life to Jesus. Hispanic man, Hispanic woman, give your life to Jesus. I don't care where you come from, Jesus is the answer. It always takes more time to bring life than it does death. It always takes more time to build than to destroy. So I say to St. Samuel, don't lose hope, don't lose courage, build your hopes on things eternal. Hold on to God's unchanging hand. Hold on to your dreams. Hold on to your children. Build them up. Let them know that the answer is not in a pair of gym shoes. Their answer is not in diamonds. Their answer is not in the gold around your neck. But the answer is in Jesus. He's alive. He's alive. He shed his blood that you and I might live today. He shed his blood that we may have a right to the tree of life. He shed his blood and gave us another chance. Jesus matters. Jesus matters. Black lives matter. White lives matter. Latino lives because he lives and he's coming back for those who do live in him we live we hope we move we breathe in Jesus look at your neighbor and tell him your life matters but tell him it only matters because Jesus lives no Jesus no peace no Jesus no peace. Now watch this. N-O Jesus. N-O 
Peach. K N O W Jesus. K N O W Peach. No Jesus. No peace. But get to know Jesus and you will know peace. God bless you, my sister. God bless you. We love you. We're out here today just because of you. Just so you would have a chance to walk up on the parking lot and celebrate with your brothers and sisters. Come on, praise God for her. Praise God for her. If, here's the problem that I'm having. God bless you, Mother Lindsay, Mother Johnson. Watch this. If we spent more time on two knees, you wouldn't have as much time to be on one knee. See, one knee was the problem. Two knees is the answer. So, somebody gonna get that one next week. I'm gonna say it again. One knee is a problem. Two knees is an answer. When we get on two knees, that's the position of prayer. That's the position of power. That's the position of submission and obedience to God's will. When we get on two knees and cry out to him, Lord, have mercy on my soul. That's when the answer can come. That's when the answer can come. Jesus is. Jesus is. Jesus is the answer. Where, where, where's Pastor Andre Crouch when you need him? Well, he's gone, but he left the song over here. Jesus is the answer for the world today. I know there is no other because Jesus is the way. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Uh, uh, mm, above him there's no other. Jesus is the way. Savior today. Here we are. We're just about ready to receive communion. But I want to offer you Jesus. He is the answer. He is the answer. If you know somebody that does not know Jesus, I'm going to count backwards from three. I want you to yell out their name if they don't know him as Lord and Savior. It might be more than one person. So take your time. I'm going to count backwards three, two, one. When I do that, 
I want you to yell out all those that you know that need Jesus in their life. Three, two, one. Every name that was called, we offered them up to you, Lord. You know the need. You know what it would take to bring them to you. God, we ask you to move upon their heart, upon their minds. Get a hold to their mind. In the name of Jesus. And we bless you and we thank you right now for who you are and for what you do. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. And we speak their deliverance today. We speak their salvation today. We speak their wholeness and their soundness today. In Jesus' name. And we pray and we thank you. Let the people of God say amen. Minister Turner, you got your Bible? Find 1 Corinthians chapter 11. I want you to come very quickly and read our communion scripture. And we're going to receive Holy Communion. Those of you who are going to receive, when she's done reading the scripture, I want you to step outside of your car so we'll know who we're serving. We'll know which cars to go to. Amen. Matter of fact, when you get out of your car, just stand in front of the car, then we'll know who's going to receive. Well, we don't know. 20 years from now, 
on June 7th, it may pop up. And there may be some young people that's not alive. They're not even born yet. But they may wonder, why were you all having communion outside 20 years ago? And somebody's going to be able to tell them because there was a pandemic all across the world. And because of it, churches had closed for two months and could not have services like they really wanted to. But as they began to regather themselves, God provided an opportunity for a small church called St. Samuel Temple, elected of God Holiness Church, to join together on the parking lot and serve communion. This is the first time that I have served you all since March. God is a good God. Jesus was excited, Sister Gadsden. He was excited. The last time he had the Passover with his disciples, he said, now I'm not going to do this no more with y'all. He said, the next time I do this with you all, I'm coming in my kingdom. So I'm excited today. And I'm going to ask that you all would start to come closer, line up there, keep your distance socially. <laughs> but we didn't keep our distance spiritually. We invite you to come. We invite you to come. we thank you we thank you for this day the day that you've made and we will rejoice and be glad in it you anointed someone to package together this product for our ease of use and nonetheless it does not take anything away from the power of what we're doing we take the bread in, in recognition of your body, the flesh that was broken for us. We take the grape juice in, in recognition of the blood that you shed for us. And in so doing, we remember your death and the power of your death. And more importantly, we remember that you're going to come again and give us a newer life, a greater life, a better life. We thank you in Jesus' name. As you begin to open up, get the little wafer in your hand. Struggle with mine, it didn't want to come loose. I had to loosen it and let it go. 
Somebody dropped their wafer. The body was broken for them. Amen. We're going to get you another one. I received this wafer. And that which was broken for you, take it and eat it. That which was shed for you, take it and drink it. And as often as you do this, you do show the Lord's death till he shall come again. I'm going to receive another one, and my wife's going to receive another one. I'm going to receive it for Elder Patterson, who was sick today. She's going to receive it for Elder Kitchen, who was sick. She had wanted to be in service with us, and she asked if we would take it for her. So we do that in the name of Jesus. www.stsamuelsemple.org PayPal Those of you that are here presently if you want to give today Sister Sydney can take care of you inside She'll go inside with you, you can do the swipe inside, alright We want to recognize our sister God bless you Come tell us your name